get going Ole Miss and bought Hemingway Stadium today. And early on, Jordan Tamu, he'll find Scotty Phillips out in the flats. And that man has reservations for six. He's going to take it 38 yards in for the score. Ole Miss goes on the board early, 7 to nothing. Ken's Tate's turn now. Woody Barrett back to pass. He's going to get sacked by Markel Winters. So the Rebels' defense also showing up today. Good to see them. Ken State down 7 to nothing. Barrett throws to Cavius Price, and Price throws it into the end zone. Finds Joel Shaw for the score, and the Golden Flashes tie the game up at 7 going into halftime. But Tomu back now finds A.J. Brown way downfield inside the Kent State five yard line. That's going to be good enough to set up this next play. Scotty Phillips is going to get the handoff here. He goes in two yards out for the score. Rebels take a 14 to 7 lead. Some good momentum going, and Ole Miss is going to get back on offense. Tomu back to pass the rows way downfield. It's going to connect with DK Metcalf as he gets the one handed catch for a 41 yard score. Rebels taking the lead even more 21 to 10. But now Tomu. He's going to be on the QB keeper here, rolls it in for four yards into the house, gets the score. Lead extended 31 to 7, just racking, 17, excuse me, just racking up those points. But the game would go into lightning delay in the fourth quarter. That delay went on for almost two hours. The Rebels would come back out and score a TD right away. Ole Miss not letting Alabama beat them twice. Rebels get the win 38 to 17. What they really wanted out of today's game, Coach Matt Luke, proud of the team's fight, sees this win as momentum the team can use going forward. Proud of the kids bouncing back, getting up off the mat, going to uh, get a win. Uh, defense played really well um, in the first half. They had seven sacks in the first half, so happy to, uh, to see them have some success that we can build off of. Uh, so proud of that. A win is everything to us. And uh, like Coach Luke said, we can either bounce back from last week or um, hide in the corner, and uh, I, I believe our whole team came out swinging, and um, especially in the second half, everybody knew what we was playing for. Everybody knew the Alabama game was gone, and um, it's time to move forward. And uh, it's just one win at a time. And it started with this week. It started with the training. Started with practice, and uh, uh, getting a W.